Hi everyone, this is going to be a pick a card reading, Are They Over You? So I'm going to be doing three separate readings in this video. This is going to be group one, group two and group three. You can find the timestamps in the uh, comment section below and you can skip ahead to whichever you know deck you feel more drawn towards. So this one in the middle is non-traditional tarot. I thought I would just let you know that these ones are um, the normal tarot cards. So I am going to be seeing are they over you now just before I get started I just want to mention if you'd like to win a free reading with me since I am a do I am doing a giveaway every single month then all you have to do is check out the description box below and it will have all the information on how you can enter if you'd like to book a private page reading information will be down there as well and my bracelets are going to be linked down below as well through Etsy so there will be a link down there if you're interested all right, so let's see, are they over you? We're going to start first of all with group one, then group two and group three. As I mentioned, timestamps are down below. So I'm just going to move these ones out of the way. Group number one, let's have a little look, well, a big look, I guess, as to how, you know, are they over you? Not how, are they over you? All right, group number one, are they over you? Got the hanged man and the hierophant, so they're thinking a lot. They're expanding their mind a lot more in the sense that they're thinking a lot more. You've got light behind the mind with the, you know, this person is, is genuinely thinking a lot more, they're in their own space, and when they're in their own space, they think about you a lot more. When they're distracted by a lot of people, um, I sense, and the guides are saying, is that they, because they're so distracted sometimes by other people, you know, just people in general, they they get distracted and they don't think about you as much um, because they're distracted, right, and they have things to do. But I'm seeing when they're specifically by themselves, specifically by themselves, before they go to sleep, etc. They do think about you a lot and the hangman is ruled by Neptune. Neptune is a very spiritual planet. So this indicates that yes, they do think about you and they think about you in a much more spiritual sense. There are definitely things on a day-to-day -day basis that remind you of them. Even through dreaming, it could be, you know, dreaming at night or daydreaming. And I'm also seeing that they are not over you because the universe is feeding them this through, you know, different signals and different things that are happening in a, in a spiritual level. But also on another level, they're not over you in the sense that they really feel that you're someone that they can have marriage and commitment with and that, you know, they're not over you in that sense. I feel for a lot of you in your situation with this person, they perhaps just were not ready for that um, or they, you know, they just, they couldn't get to that idea. But they, they feel like they're not over they're not over you because they know that they can have that with you. And I do feel for many of them, they're sort of feeling a sense of loss. I don't feel that they're over you. Um, Hierophant is ruled by Taurus. Taurus is a figure of marriage, commitment, stability, family, a happy home, tradition. So, you know, marriage. Marriage is a big one in this, um, in, in, in the Hierophant especially. Um, so they're not over you because they know that they can have that with you. don't necessarily see that they found that with someone else, but I, I don't feel that they're over you. We've got the Two of Pentacles, which means that they are constantly juggling ideas in regards to you. So they're not over you. They're constantly sort of going back and forth thinking about you. Um, and they are definitely trying to balance their, balance their sort of their thoughts. Um, is what I'm seeing, especially with the Two of Pentacles. We've got quite a lot of Earth energy in this reading, especially with the Queen of Pentacles as well. Queen of Pentacles indicates that they are not over you because they do somehow, some somewhere deep down, they crave stability and security. They know that they can have it with you. It's just I feel like they've been confused for a little while, and this is confirmed with the Eight of Swords in the past. They, you know, they've genuinely been very much so stuck, and they haven't necessarily wanted the same things as you especially with this five of swords as well this is about conflict this is about creating conflict this is about feeling conflict feeling stuck 
and you know trying to really juggle their thoughts because I feel like their heart and their mind are saying two completely different things and they've been stuck for a while I don't feel like they're over you because now they're starting to come to terms with what it actually is that they want in life especially in the space that they have by themselves they're really able to evaluate that and they're being fed a lot of a lot of things spiritually as we mentioned as well with the hangman <laughs> any other cards want to come out you know feel free to do so I'm here I'll wait another five hours but I, I don't think you guys will want to wait five hours for the cards to come out thank you Nine of Cups is a wish card. Are they over you? I don't think so. I mean, I said this right at the beginning anyways, but I, I don't feel that they are over you. I feel like they are having some form of regret now. Strength card. Wishing that they didn't do what they did. Having regret, trying to tame that regret also with the strength card. Sorry guys, that was my draw. I just pushed it with my foot by mistake. Seven of Wands. They're not over you. They're trying to get over you and they do have regrets, but they're struggling to get over you and they are feeling also heartbroken as well. They know they've done something wrong in this situation. They are not over you um, because I see that this is the person that has caused conflict in the dynamic and they're, they're starting to feel the effects of things. They know that they, they shouldn't have done what they've done um, and essentially they, they are feeling regret. They are not over you. They know that they can have something really stable with you and in many ways they feel like they mess things up big time. But they also feel like they weren't ready previously. So now they're really feeling that devil. This is like that obsessive energy. They're definitely not over you. No matter what it is that they show, they're not over you. They're trying to get over you, but they're not they're not that they're not gonna be able to just because it's Three of Swords here is, you know, this this hurt. They feel hurt now. They feel like they, they've genuinely done, you know, something wrong. They've made the wrong mistake. Eight of Cups indicates that they walked away from the situation. So this is like sort of a reconfirmation as to sort of what has happened in the situation. They're not over you. You know, Eight of Cups suggests walking away. But the rest of the cards, especially with the messages coming through, is that they, they have regret they are not over you. This just reconfirms, you know, what's happened in the situation. The moon card, there are secrets, there are things that you do not know. There are things that you are not told. And this is the fact that I believe that they may show themselves like they're doing well, they're doing great for themselves or whatever it is, but they are not over you. They could also be in a karmic situation, maybe with somebody else. You know, threes indicate a karmic situation, but they are not happy in that situation. They do think about you a lot. They know that they can have stability and something very, very secure with you that they cannot have with somebody else. And so for a lot of them, they're going to be walking away from this karmic situation as well. And, you know, they, they, they are not... They are not over you whatsoever. Um, you know, the situation with you, they, it causes them hurt now because they realise they've done something wrong. And they, they these are lessons that they have had to learn. Threes are also about lessons, karmic lessons, things they had to learn. So, you know, the moon card here is, is really about them showing themselves to be something that they're not in the situation. So they may show themselves on social media to be really happy. They've moved on, blah, blah, blah. They haven't. They, they deep down they have a lot of regret and they're, they're coming to terms with it now with this three of swords the devil here is about well first of all it's Capricorn energy we have a lot of earth energy here but it's about being sort of obsessive and not being able to let go of you right these two people seem like they're chained together they're not able to let go of the thought of you again spiritually the universe is sort of giving them messages giving them these downloads they're not able to stop thinking about you regardless of what they may show themselves to be doing you know it's taking them a lot of strength in this situation and I do feel like they are just not over you I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to say it but 
they are not over you. Um, especially with that devil card, you know, it's this sort of obsessiveness. They just can't let go. They feel like they're chained to you. And no matter what they do, they just feel, they just keep bouncing back around to the idea of you. You know, you've got that infinity sign. It just keeps going and going. And these thoughts, they just can't push them away. You know, in the past, they've really been juggling and balancing and not being, not knowing between the heart and the mind. But now, you know, there's there's nothing that they're juggling. You know, the infinity sign just keeps going and going and going. There's nothing. There's nothing in those infinity signs. So, they are not over you. Group number one, they are not over you. Okay, don't know how many more times I'm going to say it, but they they aren't. Um, so we're going to move on to the next group. Let me know how this resonated with you in the comment section below. And um, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and check out the description box below. Right, let's move on to the next group. Alright, group number two, are they over you? Let's have a little look. So this is a non-traditional tarot, tarot deck. This is the Pixies um, Tarot. So let's see, are they, are they over you? You've got the coffin, nail in the coffin. You've got the ring. Do, do, do. You've got the scythe. This is about damage limitation. You've got the snake. Oh boy, oh boy. Now, snake can be seen as two things. Um, the snake is in Hindu Vedic, right, the snake is very lucky. However, more so in the Western world, the snake is known to be a snake. And for most of you, you'll probably know what I mean, right? The snake can be this sort of betraying, not so great energy. But what I'm seeing is that this person, I feel, is not over you. Um, you've got the fish, which is also very lucky as well. And um, this is about feeling very emotionally grounded. And the scythe is about damage limitation, damage control. The coffin indicates feeling stuck for a very long time. They have been feeling stuck for a very long time. And I do feel that they're not over you. There's definitely some unresolved issues in this situation that I am picking up on. Yeah, they definitely think very, very highly of you. So the coffin there, right, can indicate essentially what the guides are saying is that the coffin indicates that there was almost this time where they were over you. They had put in that final nail in the coffin. However, it didn't last very long because you can see that that person is on top of the coffin. This is what the guides are trying to tell me is that, you know, you said nail in the coffin, but the person's on top of the coffin. They were never really fully over you. They were at a point where they had accepted the situation, but really, truthfully, in time, they were never over the situation. So again, as I mentioned, the snake is about two sides, right? It's about the fact that they were probably being a full-on snake at one point, being, you know, this not-so-great energy, but also the snake is lucky. So in the sense that, you know, they have been able to understand the situation, prove loyalty, and um, I feel like they, they really want to prove themselves to you. It's, it's a time where they are not over you. They probably felt like they were at the point. They were, uh, but they're not over you. So they felt like they were, but they were not. And they probably didn't treat you the best because we do see, you know, that the other side of the snake and also the scythe, which is about damage control damage limitation, which essentially, I'm trying to get these cards out and they're just not coming out. Okay, hold on a second. Let's just get these cards out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, please. I can be here for another two hours, but I know a lot of you are not, are not, not going to be. <laughs> You're not going to want to be here for another two hours just so that the cards come out. Okay, so something also flipped. We've got the birds. So you've got the birds and the fish. 
Let's just move these down here so you can see them a lot clearly. All right, three more cards. So feel free to give me these three cards, please. The whip. They're definitely feeling quite emotionally damaged in the situation. Now I'm picking up on their energies because this is about, you know, are they over you? Right, so, oh, 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 okay. Can you see that? The bouquet has flipped as well as the heart. As well as three other cards as well. So we're going to take those as well because they flipped as well. All right, so in that case, that can be like this. It's a pretty big reading, actually. All right, so let me just move this like this. Okay, I'm going to use my crystals to point at them because I can't individually lift up all of these cards, otherwise it's going to mess up the whole thing. So, we talked about the snake, two sides, right? This is, this is their sort of energy before and essentially how it's sort of changed. We've talked about the coffin, you know, there was an ending to the situation. They probably genuinely felt at the time it was an end. However, it wasn't an end because they realised that they are not over you and that can genuinely happen. So here they are sitting on top of that coffin, hoping the situation can change. Can you see that person? They put their hands together. The guides are saying they're not over that situation. They're sort of hoping that there's still a way to resolve this. We have the scythe here, which is about damage limitation. They're trying to do everything they, they sort of can in the situation to not create more damage to the situation. The ring here indicates that in the future they want to be able to sort of come forward they, they really do think about you, they know that they can have something much more with you and this is something that essentially they, they want to prove going, going forward. They're really hoping that they can resolve this situation, resolve this issue. They're sort of wishing upon that as well because we see with the coffin, they're praying, right? The star here is about wishing, wishing for one thing and then all the other stars are in the background. So they're definitely wishing for the situation to change. They're not over you because they are doing this wishing. The fish here means opening up emotionally, emotional freedom, being able to connect. So they really want to do that. They've also realized over time as well with this lady as well. So since you know you guys have sort of gone your separate ways with this lady, that you are someone very kind, very caring. Again, something, someone, sorry, that they can have something so much more with, especially with this ring, signifies a higher level of commitment. And they, they feel very spiritually drawn to you because you know, you've got those angel wings as well on either side, you've got the sun behind as well. And so they really do put you on a pedestal and they think very, very highly of you now. And they really, it's, it's typical, right? Now they think of you like this. Um, but the lady here is about, you know, really thinking that you're someone very kind, caring, nurturing, someone they can have a future with, whether you're male or female, remember there's no genders in tarot, we're purely reading energy, so you can be a male and have this energy where they're putting you on a pedestal and they think you're very kind, caring, nurturing, and someone they can really have a future with. The mountain here indicates that they have a lot to prove to you, they have got to climb that mountain and prove to you what they, you know, what they feel, what they want in this situation. They want to be much more emotionally open with you. They want to prove things to you. They want to show you things in that sense. And this is going to be a mountain for them to climb. They are not over you whatsoever, especially with that mountain energy. And the lilies here are very, very lucky, which again shows this opening. It shows luck. It shows that they aren't over you. They still want to be with you. And if that's not further proof, you know, the heart is here. They have, you know, they have that love for you still. They have that connection for you still. They, they still want to be able to manifest this. At one point, they genuinely felt this was over with the coffin, but it's not over. You know, with that heart, they genuinely do want to manifest this with you. With the bouquet, again, there's that offering. They want to offer you something. They want to offer you stability and growth. Um, and they really see the future with you as well, with the ring. They, they really aren't over you. Things are manifesting much more in that sense. The whip here suggests that, you know, they really are trying to do a lot of damage, damage limitation in the sense that they don't want to hurt you further. 
so they're trying to take the right steps in making sure that they don't hurt the connection further with the scythe and then also with the whip as well that they don't hurt you further they do not want to cause more emotional damage within you but they are not over you they really do want to pursue you they want to come forward but they want to make sure they do it in the most balanced you know again that snake got two energies happening there but in the most balanced way the birds here in, uh, represent freedom. Again, we saw that with the fish as well. It's about this is about emotional freedom, and this I feel is much more about the sort of air energy of freedom in the sense of creating um, and showing honesty and loyalty and communicating that across with this air energy. The tower here is about wanting to build something with you again, wanting to manifest something more with you. The star card here, the star card, yep, is about a wish. The child here is about being free, being able to, you know, play with you guys, you know, deepening this connection. You know, when children play with each other, it, it's just fun and it's emotionally so fulfilling for them because they just feel so free and happy. And, and it's about sort of having that with you, you know, having that freedom with you, communicating with you and just being with you and having that joy and that, that sense again. They want to really make sure that they don't create damage again. And that is something that I'm seeing very, very clearly. They have a lot to prove to you. I feel like they will be doing that in their own time. But they have a very full heart for you as well, and they're really wishing upon things. There was a time when they were trying to get over you. They felt like things were finally over, but they are not over you, and it is so clear as day to see that in this spread. So group number two, they are not over you. They are absolutely not over you, and um, they're just trying to cause a lot of damage limitation and trying to not hurt, hurt you further, but they definitely have this full heart and they want to come towards you despite what they may have done in the past which you know is your judgment as to whether you want to you know go further with this particular person but that is what I am seeing so group number two that is your reading um, if you found that this resonated with your situation let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like this video um, and subscribe if you haven't already um, and that is your reading definitely not over you Let's move on to the next group. All right, group number three. Let's see if they are over you. Okay. So this is going to be your reading. Are they over you? Let's have a little look. Well, not a little look, a longer look and see if they are over you. Five of Swords, Five of Swords, Three of Wands, Ten of Cups. Alright, let's keep going. Six of Pentacles, <laughs> so many, right? So many, so many cards. I feel very much so right now they're doing their own thing. They're, they're very much so trying to be balanced in their own life. They're trying very, very hard to get over you. Um, you know, potentially, especially in sort of karmic situations, they're, they're hanging out, communicating with other people, weighing up their options, you know, trying to figure out their path, thinking quite a lot as well. And I do feel right now, very, very strongly, there's that Knight of Pentacles as well there, is that they're sort of two, in two minds about things. Um, and I saw that with the Five of Swords, especially because Fives in Tarot are changing energies, right? So they cause conflict, but then they always manage to sort of look back at the, cause, the conflict that they've caused, and sometimes they just, they, they, they reach out and, you know, that kind of an energy. However, I do feel there are sort of two sides to this, and I just want to get the two other cards out. So we've got the Fool and we've got the Moon. So I do feel they are very much so on a path of getting over you. And I see that very, very strongly with this Ten of Pentacles, because when I say, you know, are they over you, I'm getting a yes. 
Yes, they are trying to get over you, and I know that's awful to hear. It's not what you guys want to hear, but the cards are pretty much showing that. Again, with this Knight of Pentacles, it's, it's again indicating a yes. The Fool card is also indicating yes. The Three of Cups is also indicating a yes because there's this karmic situation that they're involved in. They could be talking to other people. They're trying to just, you know, emotionally ground themselves and have you know, fun and, and go out and sort of do their own thing, you know, again, they've caused conflict and what I'm seeing in this situation is with this conflict that they've they've caused, you know, they do look back at things with you, but then they, they look back and sort of see what they've caused and they're not very proud of it and they, they sort of just want to be able to move on from that and the hurt that they have caused. Three of Wands here really does represent the fact that they are looking at all of their paths, all of their options, whether that's within love or career. And, you know, in terms of being over you, they're looking at different paths. And so what this to me suggests is that, yes, they are trying to get over you as much as they possibly can. They're trying to look for fulfillment in other areas of their life. They're trying to manifest this, you know, in other ways. And again, this is a yes. And when the question is, are they over you? I am getting, you know, a yes. They're trying to find fulfillment in other areas of their life. This Ten of Pentacles, again, is indicating that they want to find abundance in their life and that, you know, yes, they are essentially trying their very best to get over you and they're tr they they will try and get over you um, in that sense, which I know is not any, you know, it's, it's not what people want to hear, but I'm trying to give you, you know, my, my side of things. And I know that, you know, for those of you that are choosing group number three, you may choose to dislike this video, you may choose to, you know, not want to believe it, and that's going to be your decision, because for some of you, you know, this may not resonate, um, so, but for a lot of you, it is going to resonate, it's going to make sense, and for a lot of you, you're going to have that acceptance, but for some of you, it may not resonate, okay, I'm just putting that out there, um, so I'm seeing, you know, karmic situations, wanting to hang out with other people, wanting to, you know, pursue things with, with someone else, again, you know, you've got three here, three here as well, um, looking at different options, trying to, you know, you know, play the field in that sense. Um, the hangman here is, is spiritual thinking, you know, really trying to figure themselves out, working on themselves. It's about that individual energy, really wanting to figure themselves out before, you know, and, and really just trying to move on as well spiritually and, and taking time for themselves to move on from this situation. Nine of Wands, again, it's about wondering about their own path, taking their own action, going in their own direction. Six of Pentacles is about being equal and balanced, you know. They really want to be able to sort of be very much so balanced within themselves. They want to go on and embark on this new journey for themselves, which I think goes in the opposite direction of you. And also with this Moon card, there are definitely things that they haven't said to you. Perhaps you haven't had closure, perhaps they, they haven't been the most truthful and honest because the moon is all about secrets, uncovering secrets, revealing truths. There are definitely things that they haven't said to you that they may have, you know, left out. Um, but with the moon, you know, I'm see, seeing cycles and phases. So I'm seeing a new cycle open up for them where they embark on a new journey. They want to be able to explore their options with the three of cups, hang around with new people. And also the three of wands here, new paths as well. Knight of Pentacles, you know, again, going in a different direction, going in, going in a direction of maybe exploring their choices, which I'm seeing also with the Six of Pentacles. Two of Wands, this is all about options, choices, decisions. They may choose to go traveling. They may choose to, again, look at, you know, different options that they have in their life and weigh them up, be a bit more balanced. They really want balance in their life and they really want to sort of weigh up different options and, you know, this could be with other men or with other women um, because, you know, I'm reading, t in, in, in tarot we read energy and not genders, so whether you're a male or a female, you know, they want to be able to weigh up other options with other people and sort of see how things go. Um, and they're trying their very best to get over you and I see that in time, they, they, you know, they really will, and they will try their very best to do so, and I feel like, you know, are they over you? I feel like they're trying their hardest to get over you, for sure, and that they are on a path to getting over you, because they're weighing up other options, other choices, going towards other people, you know, and, and really looking more so in that direction, and not so much looking at at you, you know, they're facing away from you in a lot of these cards, and the only sort of card where they're sort of I feel facing, you know, another, you know, 
view is this five of swords energy where they're looking back at the conflict they created. So yes, they'll look back at it, they'll think about it, and then not be proud of what they did. Um, but for the most part, they're sort of wanting to give to others, you know, especially with that six of pentacles. It's it's not a great energy, and I, I feel this person definitely does hide a lot from you. They like to cause a lot of conflict with you, and in many ways, I don't feel like you necessarily get on the best with this particular person like they they just don't have this great energy and of course you will be the one to make the decision as to whether this reading resonates with you because it's not going to resonate with everyone but I do see that they are trying to get over you and they are on the path to getting over you and um, group number three that is your reading I know that it's not what everybody wants to hear but for some of you it's going to be a wake-up call and it's really going to allow you to you know really focus on yourselves and get back on the right path and for a lot of you it's going to be very refreshing because for a lot of you, I'm feeling like this is really what you need to hear right now to really get back onto the right path. So group number three, this is your reading. Um, if it resonated, let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and check out the description box below for more information on private readings, um, the paid private readings, the free reading giveaway, and information on my bracelets and you know my Etsy and everything that will be linked down below. Um, and yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day, night, wherever you are. And take care, everyone. Bye.